Many times they had passed a sign to Engadi, and they had since learned that it was a very important historical site. This area then became the next goal for the expedition. Whilst driving past the Dead Sea en route for Engadi, many signs warning of open pits were noticed. This rang a bell with Simon, who remembered reading something about pits in this area. He asked Einar to stop, recalling Genesis 14. The king of Sodom, the king of Gomorrah, the king of Adma, the king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is Zoar, marched out and drew up their battle lines in the valley of Siddim. Could this be the valley of Siddim? It could very well be. The Bible says it happened by the Dead Sea, that is the Salt Sea, between the cities of the plain, and that's where they were standing at that moment. Finding another warning sign, they decided to discover what manner of pits the Bible referred to. Curiosity came to the fore. How big are they? How deep? How dangerous? They began to walk gingerly onward, keeping well clear of any soft-looking patches of ground. No one wanted to suddenly disappear. They came to a small ditch with a thin layer of shell over it. Things were getting interesting. This could obviously be a trap for the unwary. Nearby were larger pits, two to three feet deep, and Simon climbed a little way into one, noticing that the bottom appeared very dark in color. As they walked further on, another biblical verse sprang to mind. Genesis 14, verse 10. And the veil of Siddim was full of slime pits, and the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled and fell there and they that remained fled to the mountains.